Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? This is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and I am here today to talk to you about a few things. I am an artist. I teach women and men how to paint using acrylics. So if you are here today for the first time, please say hello. If it's not your first time and you've been here before, say hello also. Tell us where you're from and let's have some fun today because what we're going to be doing is I am giving you a free painting tutorial today. And the reason why I'm doing that is because tomorrow starts the beginning of our Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party, which this is not as big as we're going. We're actually going 24 by 36. But this is the painting that we're going to be painting and um for those of you who are on the fence and think that um this may be a little beyond your um your skill level i want to prove you wrong today so what i'm doing today is i am going to teach you some of the techniques i'm opening up my uh, my little eight by ten canvas that we're going to be painting on today Hey, 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 I now. Hey, Sharon. Y'all say hello when you come on. Come on in. Have a seat. Get comfortable. We're going to be here a while. Am I echoing? Because I think I am. I forgot to turn off my other. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn this one off and that one off. Okay. Hey, Carrie. All right. So, um, hey, from Alabama, Miss. Star, how are you doing today? So this is going to be my painting surface right here. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not echoing. And we're going to be painting on an 8 by 10. And in just a minute, I'm going to change this screen. Hey, Jenny. So glad y'all are here. Let's get comfortable and have some fun. So what I'm going to do today, like I said, is I am going, um, we're going to be painting today. I'm going to do a demo for you guys on a small 8x10, um, something similar to our Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party. But mainly what I want to do is I want to make sure that you feel comfortable with some of the techniques that we're going to be using on our pop-up paint party. Because if you are interested in joining us, we start tomorrow night on our painting and um, I just want to give you a little bit of help to make you feel a little more confident on the skills that you need to be able to paint this painting. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera over to us here and let me see I'm going to come down just a little bit so that you can see me even better. You see I have my my eyeglasses here just in case I need them. <laughs> I've been needing them more and more lately, y'all. <laughs> and um, we are going to start painting. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to... Oh, good luck, Glenda. I hope everything's okay with your Molly. Hey, Wynn, how are you today? Okay, so I'm going to stick this here, and I'm just going to sketch. Oh, we're going to do a little born, but it's not going to be as dramatic as our born that we are going to be doing um, starting tomorrow. But this is just going to be a fun little born project. So we're going to do something very, very rustic here. I'm just kind of sketching out. This is going to be an old born because you know, guys, I love old and rustic. So I'm just kind of giving myself a guide. Um, and we're gonna paint this together and we're gonna practice some of these techniques that we're gonna be using on our Born Yard Bliss pop-up paint party. So tell me if you are in the pop-up paint party. Tell me if you're excited. Do you have your canvas ready? If you don't, you still have time to join. We are um, we are open and taking new members into the pop up paint party for um, 
for another day, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're just going to practice a little bit, okay? So hello, Miss Teresa Owens. How are you? All right, so let's get some paint going. I've got some blues. I've got some greens, I've got some blacks, I've got some whites, and I've got some browns, okay? Any color will do. Just know that um, it is totally up to you on what you want to use. So I just sketched a little barn. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this background here and... I'm going to have some fun with some blues. Now, this is a really, really loose painting, y'all. So keep that in mind. I'm going to grab some whites. This is going to be a really short and sweet painting. But I just want to show you some of the techniques that we're going to be using on the Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party. Okay, so look what I'm doing. I'm using a flat brush, and I'm basically just kind of Rubbing. So I'm using acrylic paints. I am not trying to create anything special. I am just having fun and kind of just making a mess there. Okay, and that's it. That's all you have to do for your sky. I'm not going to do anything more special than that. Yay. Um, when we actually start the Barnyard Bliss on July 7th. So it starts tomorrow night. The, um, the schedule has changed. So it's going to be the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay. Good star. I, I'm in love with anything old and rustic. So that's kind of where we're going with this. We're just having some fun. And we're practicing our old and rustic techniques that we have on here. Also, we're going to practice this sky. So I want you to look at the sky and the trees. And look how it's just very, very impressionistic. There, we're not painting each individual leaf. We're not painting each individual branch or anything like that. We're just keeping it very impressionistic. So we're making it a really, really loose painting. OK, and whenever you start to work with um, really loose paintings, you use a lot of brushes that are larger than what you would normally think you would use. OK, so that's kind of what we're getting. We're getting at here. So the first thing I did was I just used some blue. The blue that I used is like a French blue. So it's got a little bit of a, a grayish kind of like a country blue look to it. Okay, and now um, I am going to add, I'm going to go into the black and white, and I'm going to add a little bit of gray and brown to the bottom. So this is going, again, this is going to stay like really, really impressionistic. We are not being particular at all, okay? So this is where I want you to have fun. Just have some fun and know that there is nothing that you can do wrong when you paint. Everybody's painting is going to look different. I do not expect you to be able to paint and have a painting that looks exactly like mine. I can't even create a painting that looks exactly like mine if I paint it the second time. Okay, so know that everything that you do when you are painting, don't be scared. The paint draws. If you don't like it, you just go ahead and paint over it. So it's really, really simple. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking some green and I'm just adding some trees back here. And look, the only thing I'm doing is I'm just moving my paintbrush around in a really messy way. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special. Okay, so let's go ahead 
and add a little bit of a darker green. So what I did was I grabbed some black and I'm just dipping it in the green. And Miss Gail, yes, there is a supply list. You should have gotten at least two emails and it's all in the Facebook group. And in the emails, there's a link to the Facebook group as well. So let me see if I could put the link to the Facebook group. I'm not sure I know. Facebook.com slash groups slash. Um, hey, Miss Curry, how are you? I think it's Born Yarn Bliss. Pop up. P-U-P-P -P maybe. Maybe that's the link to the Facebook group. Maybe that'll come up. I'm not sure because I'm not sure what the link is, but I'll have to look it up in a minute. So all I'm doing is I'm using this flat brush and I'm just kind of tapping around the top of my born. And I'm going to grab some of this pretty lime green because I really like it. It's really pretty. And I'm going to add another layer. Now, when you add layers, you don't cover up the layer underneath. You just kind of work your way around different little parts around the bottom layer. So I'm not covering up what I did. I'm just adding to what I did. So you see how easy this is? Our trees are taking shape without us even really trying. Okay, and I'm using three different shades of green. I'm using a really dark green, which is normally what I do on my bottom layer. Then I use a medium green, and then I use a really light green. And so that adds a lot of dimension to your paintings okay so that's all i'm doing right here i'm just having fun with different levels of greens or different shades of greens okay so this is kind of like some trees that are way in the background or maybe there's some bushes it's whatever you want it to be this is kind of like my ground right here okay and i'm going to put a fence right there and then I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, branches on my trees. So I'm just kind of wiping my brush off and I'm going to grab some black and some brown. I hardly have any left on my palette. I might have to grab some more. Let me see if I can get some of this black here. Let me spray my paints down so they move better. Okay. Hey, Connie. Yes, I did draw a born on the on the canvas first. Hey, Miss Faye, watching from Kentucky. Is it hot and humid there? All right, so I'm just coming back in and I'm just making some little lines with my paintbrush. I'm gonna grab some more black. I'm still using the same brush, y'all. I have not switched it out. And I'm just gonna make some little Make it look like some branches. That's all we're going to be doing. So don't be afraid. All right, then we're going to let that dry, which acrylic paints dry really fast. So it's not going to take us much time for it to dry. Oh, blueberries, Miss Cindy. Nice. Where did you pick the blueberries from? I'm interested in that. I would love, we have wild huckleberries here, but I haven't found any. When we go hiking, I haven't found any yet. Okay, so here we go with the born. We're taking some black, some white, and a teeny tiny bit of brown, but mostly black and white. 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to start making kind of like a gray surface. I need a lot more paint, so I'm going to dip into the black. And I'm going to dip into the white. And I'm going to do this again. Now, if you want that, you see how I, it kind of went from a, from a gray background or kind of like a brownish background to a gray background. If you want that kind of brownish background, which is kind of what I have going on here, it's got a little bit of a reddish tint to it. Then I'm going to add some more of this burnt sienna or burnt umber is actually what I have on my palette right here. And I'm going to add a little bit more of that to my paintbrush. Now I see that this side needs to come down just a little bit more. So we are just having fun trying out that rustic style and that impressionistic style here so that you can have the confidence that you need to be able to paint this large 24 by 36 painting. So this is kind of your practice round, okay? So we are gonna call this our practice round. And all I'm doing is using, I have not changed brushes yet, I'm just using one brush for everything. Now I'm going to take some more burnt umber. Oh, blueberry salsa. Y'all are all some, some cooks here, aren't y'all? <laughs> That's funny, Connie. I like my G-dat behind me too. Who dat? G-dat. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding just a little bit more burnt umber and I'm just pulling straight down because this is gonna have some boards that go straight up and down, all right? So you'll see it kind of looks kind of like the same colors that are in the barn behind me. And I'm just gonna go with that. And I'm going to start making my um, highlights and start making some um, doors and windows and stuff like that. So I'm going to put an old door right here. Now I'm going to need some more black for that. So I'm just going to dip straight into my black paint. And I'm not dry. My paint's not dry yet, so it's it's not giving me the texture that I want. But we're going to get there. So that's going to be an old door right there. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to make the door look like it's kind of broken. So I'm going to take my paintbrush with some gray. And now I'm just using the side of the paintbrush. and. I'm just kind of moving it back and forth. And now I'm going to add some more white on my paintbrush. And I'm going to continue to do that with my paintbrush all over my painting. So you can start seeing all of the dimension that's coming out right here. Okay, let's get a little bit more white. And this is in my way. And let's get a little bit of this burnt umber. And let's do the same thing again. Get a little bit of that redness in there. Y'all see how easy this is? I'm not doing anything major. Now, 
I'm going to show you a little bit of fun. I love using a palette knife. So I'm going to grab a palette knife. And I'm going to grab my, well, I'm going to have to put some more paint down. I'm going to grab some black. And on the side of my palette knife, I'm going to put some black. And I'm going to come back and make those boards more visible. So you can see that there's actual vertical boards in different places on my painting. All right, then I'm going to take the end of the palette knife and I'm just going to scrape. Now you can start seeing the rusticness come out. I'm just going to start scraping. And I'm going to use a little bit of white and do the same thing. Now you can see how we create that old rusticness. So we're going to do that on this hole. We're going to do it on the roof. We're going to do it on the front of the barn and it's just going to look amazing. We're going to have like probably like six or seven layers on the barn to be able to get that effect. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just showing you like just a couple of little layers. I'm not doing the whole thing to the whole extent that we will um, in the pop up paint party. But I just want you to feel like, OK, I can do this because all we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the same thing over and over. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. So you can see how I'm just kind of adding a little bit here and there. All right. And now we're going to come back and we're going to make our trees. come over just a little bit. Now look, I'm just taking a bunch of green paint, just whatever paint I have left on my pal on my paint palette here. And I'm just making my trees. Now this is wet. Normally I would do this while it's dry, but I just wanted to show you really quick. We're just gonna make our trees come over just a little bit to make it look like we've got a bunch of trees there and I'm going to clean my paintbrush off. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Now I'm going really fast right now because I have another live to do in a few minutes with my tribe. So I'm just coming on today just to share with you a couple of our little secrets and hopefully give you some confidence in your painting abilities with me because you can do this. You can so do this. All right, let's get a little bit more of our lime green out. Store, I love the palette knife too. It's a lot of fun. All right, so now I'm going to come back and I'm going to make myself, I'm still using the same brush, y'all. I haven't even changed my brush yet. I'm going to make myself a little fence right here. Let's see, I'm going to go, I need a little bit more white. Where's my white? I do not see my white. I'm just going to grab some unbleached titanium. That'll work. Just I need a, a lighter color because it's not showing up enough. Okay, so I have a bunch of paint on my palette. So this is going to be kind of like a brown fence. The fence is just going to kind of go like this. Get some more paint there. Let's make like a little lean to. So here's going to be a little lean to.
and I'm going to make my barn just a little bit lighter because I feel like he's hiding back there. And then down here, Just going to add a little bit more. Let's get some black right here. Let's add another little fence right in the front. of our door. Let's just do, I'm gonna need to find my white. Here's some white. There we go. So we're gonna frame our, our door. Go with a little bit more white. So I'm trying to make it look like it has like a jagged ends of the the boards. And let's go a little bit thicker. Like it's painted white. Still using the same brush, y'all. Have not switched it up. So you can see how everything that I'm doing is very, very loose. So I'm trying to make my born stand out just a little bit more. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to add some more contrasting colors. So I'm going to add just a little bit of white. So you can see it. And look, don't be afraid to use your finger. You can see how all of that looks. And then I'm going to make my fence. Let's make our fence a little bit like a white fence so that it looks like it's an old painted white fence. I'm going to add some brown to it and an old rustic lean to. You see how it's all coming together? And then I'm going to add a little bit of fun right here at the bottom. And my fun is going to be my little pots with my flowers. So I'm going to make a pot, just like a terracotta pot. And I'm going to make another one right here. Very, very loose. Okay, so we're going to have some little pot plants down there. And in the potted plants, we are going to have a little bit of green. So I'm still just using the same brush going back into my green. And I'm just going to dab away. Still just very, very loose. I'm not trying to make individual leaves. I'm just trying to have some fun and you'll be amazed at what you can do when you try something like this. My brother and my, uh, 
my sister-in-law were here last week from Louisiana and we painted. If you have not watched the video yet, you need to watch it. It's super cool. They had never painted before. And so we painted live together and they were amazed at what they were able to do with guidance. So it was super fun to watch how much fun they had. And they were able to do it. I'm going to grab some red so that I can. There we go. I'm going to grab some red and I'm going to put some little red dots. And I'm actually going to use the back of my paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in the red. And then I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to put some little dots. Like some little flowers. And y'all, that's it. That's all it takes. Now, this was a, what, a 30-minute painting. The one behind me is going to be a three-day painting, which is going to be about three to three and a half hours of painting. So um, I just wanted you to see what you can do if you put your mind to it and you actually attempt it. Don't be scared. If you do not want to paint it on a 24 by 36 and you want to paint it on, um, on a smaller canvas, you can definitely do that. I'm just trying to make all of this have a little more highlight to it. You can definitely do that. You do not have to paint this on the large canvas that I will be painting it on. You can paint it on a smaller canvas and um, I have directions on how to resize the template. You are given a template to be able to paint this. So the palette knife, love it. Thank you, Star. Um, your hand is so steady. How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is uh, this is an eight by ten canvas, and it's just a cute little barn painting. You know what? I think I need to add a window. I think it's missing something. So I'm going to add a window, and I'm going to add a window, or I'm going to add the top to the barn. Let's do this. Let's make this. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. Oh, there we go. We're back in business. Somebody was trying to call me and it wasn't anybody I know. You know, it's one of those telemarketers. So I'm going to make a big window right here. And I'm going to make it a little taller. Kind of like a big door, you know, let's do that. See how easy it is to make adjustments to your painting. That's all we had to do. And then I'm just going to go across like this. Let's go a little bit more white there. Same paintbrush the whole time. I never used a different paintbrush. Now on the Barnyard Bliss, I do use a few different paintbrushes. And you have the supply list when you sign up. You get all the supply list. And isn't this cute? If you don't like this, you can make it have like a top like that. Now, look how cute that is. So this is basically the only skills that you need. All you need to do is to be able to be messy like we just did. <laughs> and look how cute our little barn is and our little flowers and our trees. It almost looks like he has a wig on top of the barn, but you can fix that. You can add more trees if you don't like the way the trees look. You can add more trees and make them come down. 
like this. Maybe you want to add like some vines right here and add just a little more of the lighter colors. It'll make it pop just a little more. You see how easy that is? So you don't have to follow the directions to the T. You can do your own thing and get some little grass going right here. You see how you can just add more and more as you go, or you can stop, whatever you want. Okay, so enjoy this cute little born, and I hope that you come and join our pop-up paint party. We start tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central. We will be painting this Barnyard Bliss, and I just basically gave you all the techniques you need to be able to do this. So um, this is actually, there's a reference photo that goes with this. This is a barn that is in St. Francisville, Louisiana. And there's a photo of it that I used to paint this. So um, that is also included in, uh, in the pop-up paint party. So come on along and join us. And if you don't join us, that's fine. I do want to make sure that you know that on July 9th, which is the last day of the pop-up paint party, I will be opening up my tribe for new members. It's $32 a month. We have about 120 uh, painting tutorials in the tribe now. We um, paint together a new painting once a week. So we have anywhere from four to six new paintings a month. And you have access to all of the previous um, video tutorials that are in there. And there's about 120 right now. So come on in and join us. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.